Hey guys, so I have a haul to share with you today. Um, I can't remember if I did mention in my last video whether or not. Um, but I placed an order through cherryculture.com because they were having a 20% off the entire website sale. Um, so you get 20% off your entire order. At least I think it was the entire order. Maybe it was just like a NYX product. I can't quite remember. But they've been doing them quite a lot recently. Just getting 20% off sales. So I figured I'd pick up all those little bits and bobs that I've been wanting to try for a while. And I'd put them past for Christmas. And um, yeah. I kind of busted into them already. Um... <laughs> But anyways, um, I think I'm gonna stick on my glasses, see if they're... Oh no, the glare back's cool. It's alright, I thought it'd be like, blinding. But it's okay, at least I can actually see what I'm doing right now. Anyways, I'm gonna get on with it. And I'll start with the NYX products because... The, the, that's the majority of it, basically. Um, so firstly are these two NYX round lipsticks. As you can tell, NYX have changed the packaging on their lipsticks. This is a more sleek and professional kind of design compared to the fun little girliness they used to be. Um, this first lipstick is called Bruise and as you can see it's like a really really dark purple. It's almost black. Um, there's a swatch of it. I heard about this through Averunx. Um, I know she stopped making videos, but I think the videos she used to make are still up, so I will leave a link to her in the down bar just in case. Um, even though her videos are quite old now, um, they're still fairly relevant to like current trends and such like. She has amazing taste in dark lipsticks. Um, this one is Chaos. And it's like a really, really bright reddish pink and uh, it's what I have on my lips just now. Um, next is an extreme lip cream. They have their matte lip creams and then they brought out these. Um, these smell like play-doh. Um, they have a really weird texture, weirder than the matte lip creams. This colour is in pinky nude. And when I thought pinky nude, I thought I was going to be nude, but no. It's like a really yellow toned pink and I really don't like it. Um, I may pick, I may try one in another colour, but so far I'm not quite impressed with this product. Next I have two um, NYX round lip glosses. This one is in Real Nude and this is Move. Just quickly do swatches of those for you. These are really really nice. They're quite like the Barry M lip glosses only a lot more opaque. Um, they're really smooth. Not some there. And the last of the NYX lip products are these two long pencils. Um, these are like a really good deal. I think they're like two dollars, maybe three dollars. And they're like the same length as a MAC pencil. And a MAC pencil is like 12 pounds. And I think like two or three dollars is like a pound fifty. It's such a bargain. Um, this one here is Current. And then we have natural, which is quite a brown color, which would be good for defining for nudes. Next, I have a few blushes. Um, Next I have a few blushes. I picked up Spice, which is like this shimmery pink 
kind of color. I haven't opened these yet, so I don't know what they're going to be actually like. But there's spice. This is natural, which I've had before, and I think this is pinker than it used to be. It used to be a lot paler of a color. Um, but yeah, there's um, natural. And then this is raisin, and I picked up three of these. Um, this is like a darker version of taupe. I picked up three of them because they're discontinuing it. Um, so yeah. Which is a real shame because it's such a gorgeous colour. Why discontinue it? But yeah. Maybe it's just this formulation is getting discontinued and they're going to reformulate it. I don't know. But word on the group frame is it's going bye bye. Next I have a few things from Milani. I picked up one of their um, marbleized baked eyeshadow in Intermix. Um, this is like a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. It's awkward packaging. It's very cumbersome and unnecessary. But um... It's about as taupe as a gold can get, if that makes sense. I, I really like her, I've been wearing it the last few days. Um, it's a very interesting shade. And then we have the Milani brow tint pen. Um, I wanted to try this to compare it to the Gosh one and I've only been using the last couple of days, but so far I prefer the one from Gosh. This one, the nib, is just this. It's puny, it's pathetic, and it's already covered and soaked in foundation and the color payoff. Although it's meant to be light, um, that's just nothing. Barely seems to do anything to my eyebrows at all. So. My cats are driving me wild this evening. I'm sorry for the jumpy editing nits. But anyways, back to the haul. Um, next I have two lip pencils to share with you. This first one is called Tawny Temptation. And this is a nice kind of rose brown color really nice and natural and then we have silk rose no satin rose even and this seems to be very similar to buff lip liner that I what are you doing and lastly from Milani are two lipsticks um I don't know if these lipsticks actually have a name or if they're just Milani lipsticks. They just come in this really retro looking packaging which I love and the bullets are like architectural. That's so cool. Uh, this one is called Fuchsia Freeze. Um, this is however not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be. But I could still try to make it work for me, maybe. I don't know. And this one is Black Cherry. Bam. And this is like a really nice black cream, blackberry stain kind of shade. It's quite sheer and very red based, so I think it'll be very wearable. And the last, oh no, tell a lie, that was not the last thing from Milani. The last thing from Milani was this. Um, this is the Gems Nail Lacquer. Um, have it on my ring finger and my thumb for the moment. I'm going to be so excited for Christmas to come around and so I can wear this on all my fingers with red and white and, you know, just go crazy with it. Maybe even do some like county cane design and put this on top. We'll see. But the last thing from the order was this little um, 
Diamond Dust Shadow from LA Splash. I heard about these from Michelle1218. Um, she loves them for inner corner highlights. Um, the one I got was just Swarovski. It's just a clear, clear. I'm um, just a basic kind of shimmer. You can see it there. Um, I thought it would be a finer kind of shimmer than this. And, you know, more of like a loose eyeshadow than a glitter. But, you know, it'll do. So that was everything from the Cherry Culture order, but obviously that's not everything that I've bought since my last video. Well, my last haul video. There are a few other things because, um, you know, it's had a points event and yeah. Enough said there. I will show you what I purchased. I picked up a full size of the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Splash Away Foaming Cleanser. Um, because I've just been using that little sample that I got every day since I got it and it's like nearly halfway done so I picked up a full size and they were having an offer where if you bought two things and one of them was skincare which this was you got like a gift of purchase so I picked up this which is the iDuo in vanilla pod and um, Dusty or Hunter, I think his username is. I'll link him below. He's a Canadian makeup artist, I think. Um, he absolutely raves about this duo. They are the most gorgeous colors. They're very, very basic, but they're done so, so well. You get an amazing taupe and an amazing biscuit beige color, which is pretty much my skin tone so it's not going to show up very well on a swatch but it looks amazing amazing on the eyes and with that of course you got the little goodie bag which came with another sample of the sumptuous extreme mascara another sample of the daywear moisturizer another sample of the idealist even skin tone illuminator um this time it came away with a total makeup remover which is one of those like cream cleansers where you wipe it on and wipe it off with a cotton pad kind of thing so I'll give that a try and it also came with a lipstick there it is this is in tiger eyes I've been eyeing this up for like a year because I've just not bought it because um it's a very shimmery bronze colour and I know I won't get much use, of it, use out of it so I'm glad it came for free. <laughs> Yay! Um, and it also came with this lip gloss, pure colour high gloss in Coral Chic. Do a little swatchy. This is quite thick gloss. It's actually really nice. And lastly it came with this little palette of sample eyeshadows which is awesome. And in here you have Ivory Slipper, Hot Cinnamon, Enchanted Forest and Safari Green. And there's swatches there for you. I really like Ivory Slipper but I don't think I could ever justify purchasing it because it's such a basic colour. But um, yeah, that's what I got for my sale order. And whilst I was in Boots on that shopping trip, I picked up some of the new Rimmel. Um, what are they called? Scandalize Waterproof Mascaras. And I picked up it in Black, Dope, 
and bronze. I'm not gonna bother swatching them because you know they're just eyeliners. Um Oh yeah, I remember what it was. I almost can't remember what the last thing was. Because it was three for two and I bought things in the group of three. I picked up two of the new Barrier Moisturising Lipsticks and um, they're a bit meh. Like a lot of Barrier products, you're like, oh my god, it looks amazing! And then you get home and try it and you're like, meh. Um, these are nice stains. Um, I got the colours 162, which is a gorgeous like cherry bomb red, and then 160, which is like one of those current stains, you know, like a cranberry stain. Um, I wouldn't apply these too thickly because they do kind of catch on dryness in your lips, and they do kind of dry your lips out, so it's counterproductive, but yeah. And the last thing I got from Boots that trip was this nail polish in Graceful from Revlon. Um, I got one thing from Inglot. Um, I picked up this lip pencil in the colour 22. And again, this is like a cranberry kind of mulberry browny colour. Really really pretty. It's nice and matte, long lasting. Yada yada yada. <laughs> um I got a couple of things from Superdrug. I went to accessorize and I picked up a few things because they were on special and I've always wanted to try them. Um, I picked up two of their new silk baked eyeshadows. They were like two for five pounds. I got um, Evie and Lily. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm not gonna swatch them. But the the testers were really nice. I'm really looking forward to trying um, Evie. It's like a brownishy grey color, almost taupe, but with a bit more gold in it. And then we have Moon Dust which looks like this. It's what I've got on my eyes just now. It's a really nice silver with a gold flex in it. Um, it's really, really pretty. And then I got this duo bronzer in Laguna, which again, I am wearing just now on my cheeks. And um, there's the swatches there for you. This is that bit, and this is the other bit, and then this one's them swirled together. See if that will show up. It's really quite light, um, it's not too orangey. It's more pinky, if anything. See if they show up. Who knows? Who knows? And the last thing I picked up was this giant bottle of pure coconut moisture infusing conditioner. Paraben free. And it's silicon free. How awesome is that? And coconut oil is quite high on the list as well. Which is cool. And I've used this already and it... I can still smell it in my hair. Um, and it worked really, really well. I've I've been using deep conditioning masks and all kinds of jazz, leaving creams, um, but this kind of nailed it. So, um, and it was only one ninety nine. How awesome is that? So I would get down to Superdrug and try this out. Um, I haven't tried the conditioner. I might try the conditioner though. Um, and it's a five hundred ml bottle, and usually. Like shampoos and conditioners are only 250 ml, so score! Anyways, this video is probably gonna be really, really, really freaking long. I have another video to film after this. So I will cut off right now and I will see you guys later. 
thank you for watching. If you want to see any reviews on anything, feel free to let me know. I do have a um, top 10 NYX products video coming ever so shortly. Um, very, very shortly, I promise. I've been promising this video for like a year now. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Um, any requests or anything, feel free to leave a comment below. And yeah.